Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing great today. So let's go ahead and see what the messages are for you. Today is the 10th of December and I'm having a little sale on my website if you're interested. It is through Sunday 12-12 at 12 noon. So we have 12-12 coming up. Very powerful. In numerology it's a three, so there's change, but I just shuffled and got the door to personal healing and happiness here for you, Aries. It is the number 34, which is a seven, which is still a seven is like you're fighting, fighting your way to the top of something. Um, but this card means um, solar plexus. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, 34, not okay. Um, it's Positive change is on the way for you. A beautiful light-filled door opens to a rainbow-lit spring with lotus flowers. If you're working on inner healing, breaking addictions, or some external change, such as finding a new place to live, this can signal your life will open up and a new opportunity is about to appear. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom and wonderful results will occur. Um, so stay positive with your intentions. You don't want to rack up any negative karma by having a negative intention towards anyone. Um, so let's see what we have here, Aries. Thoughts are very powerful. Thoughts are like things. They become your reality. If you're thinking a negative way or harboring some negative thought, it can then manifest. So keeping positive manifestations in your mind. I have here Raphael again, Archangel Raphael healing. I have here the woman holding a coin. Okay, being generous, gifting, or it could be someone coming to you doing that energy. Oh my gosh. So we got the card of envy. Many areas this could be going on for you right now. It could be something to do with um, anybody. It's usually the energy of somebody thinks the grass is greener. Like you have it better or you could think someone else has it better than you. When everybody has struggles and trials of their own. So let's see what we have here. Aries. So check your placements. See how much water you have in your chart, how much fire you have in your chart. There's some fa very fiery um, energies. Mars in a fire sign can be very fiery. Mercury too. The moon as well. Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, somebody very sweet and kind, making an offer. In the crossing page or knight of coin. This is a very solid energy. Underlying energy, we have the King of Wands, fire, someone who is taking charge, they're a leader. Now, recent past, we have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be somebody very compassionate. It could be your energy, too. It could be that you've been very strong, you know, pursuing your goals, and you've also been compassionate to people. Um, let's see. Knight of Wands energy is coming in. Fire and motion. We have here the Knight of Swords. Some dramatic information. Aries, you're getting, you are this Ace of Coin. So you're starting something new. Oh, wow. Your environment has the ace of water. A new potential for emotional fulfillment. New feelings about something. 
Your fear is Ten of Swords. You're afraid that something will go wrong and you'll end up, you know, devastated by something emotionally or mentally devastated. I know someone's like so mad at me over my camera. Um, however, I, I kind of like this camera. It's very reliable. Every day it's not breaking down. Knock on wood. <laughs> okay, so we have the Sun card. Happiness, joy, success. So try to keep your thoughts positive, um, your manifestations positive. Because <clears throat> if your fear is Ten of Swords, that's quite a lot of fear. That's like you're afraid that people are going to backstab you and be against you and all of that. So we have two aces and, a, and the sun. An ace of cups around you. Ace of Pentacles is what you are. You're ready for something new. You're ready to start some kind of new situation that can lead to success. A successful outcome. You're ready for a commitment as well. Oh, wow. Look at the Nine of Cups. Emotional wish fulfillment. You're getting your wish. Something that, that is going your way. Contentment. Um, what is this Knight of Rods? Somebody with a lot of passion coming towards you in your awareness. High Priestess. Manifestation. Intuition. What is this Knight of Swords? Kind of a dramatic energy. Ooh, the chariot, moving forward very quickly, very determined. So either you're determined or someone around you is very determined. You're the ace of coin, though. It could be a water sign. It could be a cancer. So if you look at the cards and you see what's happening, somebody is very determined. But the main energy was the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. There's loyalty and offers. And we have Kings and a Knight. High Priestess is what is driving this all. So manifestation, um, doing something where you are setting your intention towards something. Okay, so just now the King of Pentacles tried to flip. We have here an earth sign. We have all these kings. We have king energy, which is a leader. It's someone who knows what they want. They go after what they want. They're very methodical and strategic. They're not immature. They're mature adults. However, chariot is the major arcana with the sun. So you're very determined to keep going forward. And the Sun and the Nine of Cups is your outcome. You're in an Ace of Coin. What is Ace of Coin for Aries? To me, it's you're receiving an offer. The Queen of Coin. Money, abundance. Could also be an Earth sign around you. A Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. So you have this ace of water, a new potential to be happy or have strong feelings about something. What do we have here for Aries environment? Oh, the tower with the ace of cups. So there's a very sudden new beginning. Why is the tower popping out? Something that was hidden. Strong feelings. What is this tower? The world. Closure, completion, or great success. Now, what is the King of Wands underlying? Leadership. An, a grown adult taking the lead. Maturity. Definitely not in a page energy. I feel like the pages in the is more about an offer. Two of coin. Two of coin is 
trying to weigh your options or juggle or keep things balanced. You could have more than one offer coming in too. Financial. People around you. You do have an emotional component coming in though. Something that would make you happy. The Sun and the Nine of Cups. Please clarify the chariot. Okay. Page of Water. Cancer energy or someone with cancer in their chart. Someone who could be coming forward with feelings and emotions. Clarify the Sun and the Nine of Cups. Clarify the Sun and the Nine of Cups. Okay, you get messaging, intentional messaging, eight of rods, texting, social media, um, anything where it's intentional. Okay. This looks really good, Aries. What is the queen of coin and ace of coin? You're in an earth energy. It means you're practical, you're realistic. Okay, so I got three cards for that. The Empress, the Devil, the Lovers. Three major arcanas for this new beginning for you here. Now, it could be a love offer. It could be some kind of chemistry with a person. It could be some very, um, very you know, um, passionate sort of union that you're having here with someone. Main energy was an earth sign. But it could be anyone. Bottom of the deck was Queen of Air. You could be blocking this. Preventing. Ooh, two. Okay. So, Aries, with the Envy card there, um, the Envy is somebody who has, a, they have a lot. And they, they are wanting more. Very, it's not like someone who has nothing. It's someone who has a lot and they're jealous, which is very strange energy. Wow. Have here the door to value opening. Two kings. Could be juggling, could be um, needing to weigh your options. We have the door to value opening. And the door to personal healing and happiness. So we have two doors. Which to me are opportunities. Um, what is this door to value about? Woman holding a heart. Compassion. Alright. Alright Aries. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so very much for tuning in and take care.